Welcome back, Achievers. This is your E3 Xbox breakdown. I think we're calling it a breakdown. Yes. Uh, yeah, breakdown is good break enough, down. right? We're talking about the whole conference and things. We just yeah. finished the Square Enix conference. You can go and check out a reaction to that live on the channel as of uh, as of you're seeing this. So as you're seeing this, go go check that out. Um, I'm not spoiling our reactions. Did we like it? Did we hate it? Uh, you can probably tell by my expression. Stalker mm. 2, April 28th was the first one coming out to us. Stalker 2, one of the games where I literally thought I was like, is this going to be like Wasteland? Where like, And I'm not a big Wasteland fan, but mm-hmm. if it looked like Wasteland, that was an immediate like, nah. But this is a first-person shooter, and it looks fantastic. And next-gen only. Yeah, no, yeah, it definitely. It definitely, I wasn't expecting it like uh, to like it, and it looks awesome. Mm-hmm. And then we got uh, Back for Blood coming up right after that. October 12th, I mean, really, all you have to say, Left 4 Dead. It looks fantastic. Coming to Game Pass, too. It's coming yep. to Game Pass. Dude, everything's coming to Game Pass. Oh, God. I can't wait for this game. Uh, Contraband, uh, right after that, from Avalanche. So there was rumors that they were working with Xbox to make something. I guess mm. it's this, Contraband. I... I don't know. Maybe you did, Alex. I didn't. Did you get anything from this game? Like, I, I couldn't really nah. tell what it I, is. I couldn't. I, I can't tell what it is. Uh, most likely, it's probably a co op game, and you guys got to go get loot or some. I don't know what contraband stuff. The, yeah. yeah, I don't know what you got to do with that stuff, but yeah. I mean, Achievers, sometimes with these like CG trailers, you can kind of tell what the game's going to be. With this one, I have no, I have no, I had absolutely no guess. Mm hmm. Right after that, and then, then it really gets popping. <laughs> and for some reason, I wasn't expecting this, but I guess it makes sense. Uh, sea of Thieves, Jack Sparrow bring is is being added to as like I guess a quest objective type thing. It's uh, called a Pirate's Life. Comes out June twenty second. Hey Amen. I'll be playing that. Uh, we'll we'll be on there probably June twenty second playing it with you because yeah. I am so excited to try that out. Oh, for sure, dude, for sure. Then right after that, we have Yakuza Like a Dragon straight going to Game Pass. Just kind of an announcement saying, hey, all Yakuza games are now in Game Pass. Uh, it was cool. I want to try Like a Dragon. Um, mm-hmm. It's one of those games where I'm like, do I start with Like a Dragon? Do I go back and play other ones? There's just so many games, so it's kind of like Yeah, it depends. You gotta, see the t- if, you gotta see if you have the time for it. That too. That too. Then probably like one of my most anticipated games of this whole conference, 12 Minutes, August 19th. I can't wait. This has been in development for a long time. Mm. Very long time. And it is finally coming. And it's coming to Game Pass. Game Pass, yep. And it's so unique, too. You have that like time loop time type of, like, it was 12 mm-hmm. minutes. All right, figure out how to get out of this situation. Ugh. And then, um, I don't know if you have any care about this, Alex, but Psychonauts 2, August 25th. I've never played I've Psychonauts. Never, I've never played it either. I do want to try this. Again, it's coming to Game Pass, mm-hmm. so... I don't really have to, you know, do anything to do it. I just download it. So I think I will mm. try it just to see. It does look fun, uh, and it, but it is very platformy, which usually doesn't really keep me yeah. for long. I gotta be in the mood for them. Yeah. I'm not usually. It depends if I'm in the mood for it or not. I, yeah, I agree. Uh, right after that, they bring up Fallout 76. Steel Rain comes out July 7th. Uh, you, I mean, I'm nothing. Yeah. And then they announced the pit is the next expansion. That game ruined me the first year. Yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Uh, yeah. Then they just show Elder Scrolls Online. Cool. Party Animals 2022. That's all it's we weird got. Weird game. Weird game. It's straight up gang beasts. Uh, cool. Uh, not my type of game. Hades finally coming to Xbox August thirteenth. Yeah, I've been wanting to play it, but I did not want to buy it on Switch. I did not. I wanted. It was like I want it crispy, nice on my big screen. And here mm. we go. Hades is coming, and I finally get to play it. As soon as it comes out, I'm buying it. Mm-hmm. Now, Alex, did you see? It? Did, was it coming to Game Pass? I think so. Yes. Can you check really quick if you don't mind. Yeah. Um. I'll move oh wait, on. no. I'm sorry. Hey, I don't think so. I think I know there was getting a physical release, but I don't think it's coming. Again. I mean, let me make sure. Yeah, I don't think so. And then we got Alex. Help me here. Somerville. I didn't write a description. So, for this. So, yeah, Somerville. Which one was this one? Uh, this is the one that had the weird uh alien um uh, like, That's right. It looked That's like, right. It was yeah. the family getting through the, the alien family running away. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I want to play this. Now we got like yes. no details about it, so it was kind of shown. Hades hits game Xbox Game Pass on August 13, twenty twenty one. 
on Game Pass, baby. You don't have to buy it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Halo Infinite. Again, I achievers. If you've watched my reactions, I was like, dude, wait, oh, wait. We're talking about this now. And I want to talk to you if that was a good choice or not, but we'll we'll save that for later. But Halo Infinite, they confirmed 120 frames for multiplayer. They showed a little bit of multiplayer and they showed some campaign. I'm very mm-hmm. excited. They, they you? showed you kind of what the plot is for Infinite. So they kind of said like exp- like a, they kind of emphasize of what it's going to be. Yeah, they do. Yeah, because yeah. you get There's that, something like, called the Infinity. Yeah, and then now we have to figure out um, what's what with the Cortana because she was supposed to be deleted, mm-hmm. but she obviously at, wasn't. That, she was supposed to be deleted at the Infinity or whatever, and there wasn't. Yep. And then there's, there's a new AI. I forget the name. I don't remember her name either. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, that was kind of the biggest thing of the conference, in my opinion, at least. Mm-hmm, Strange sure. that we didn't get a date, but in my opinion, I'm kind yeah. of fine with that because, like, just... It, Whenever we're gonna ready, get it. I, th- I think they're just waiting to be like, oh, it, we want to do November, but what week to see what to? I, I feel like what they want to go against. Maybe that. Maybe or yeah, always. I don't maybe. know. I, I think they're like, we can't delay it again. So just tell us a date when you know you got it. Yeah. And then right after that, we get Plague's Tale Requiem coming 2022. This is of course uh, mm-hmm. Focus Home and Adobo or Adobe. I think is I forget what they're called. Adobe, something like that. Anyways, mm. not important. Um, I played a little bit of Plague Sale One. Wasn't super in love with it, and something else I think yeah. came out, and I it took my attention. Yeah, I looks, played it, and I was like, I was done. This one looks okay, but again, this was one of those things where we didn't see much, just a bunch of rats. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you don't really like rats, so you're like, mm, no, <laughs> um, right after that, we get Far Cry Six, October seventh. Some more Far Cry stuff. It, more Far Cry. Yeah. If again, if you saw our reacts, I was definitely like. More Far Cry. Yeah, it's more Far Cry. I mean, I It's like Death Loop to me, man. I don't care for Death Loop I've, anymore. I, I've seen it like four times. I'm like, all right, I'm good. I don't need to see this anymore. Yep. Um, and then we got um a Slam Rancher 2 made by Monomi uh Park. Comes out um twenty twenty two. I've good. never played the first Slime Rancher, so like it looked eh, cool. it, look, it looks like a not I wouldn't say kids game. It is a like relaxing it's, fr- it's a it's a it's a friendlier game yeah yeah kid kid friendly game you know a family friendly game that's a better way of putting it mm-hmm. uh more relaxing type of game where you don't have to stress out yep. and then there, then we're getting shredders definitely trying to be kind of a more skate like a game but with snowboarding mm-hmm. this is made by phone i was Bunch. i kept waiting for like something crazy to happen it was just snowboarding yep, it was just snowboarding i was definitely waiting for like all right here's a big race and we're going really fast nope it's just snowboarding around very slowly Mm-hmm. Atomic Heart. I didn't get much about this. But show, they this show this interesting. Mm-hmm. Gives me a lot of Bioshock slash what? <sighs> Not I don't know. I was gonna say Dishonored, but it's just it's very steampunkish. Yeah, like I don't know. Very, it gives me that vibe. Yeah, it is that kind of punky sort of vibe. Yeah, I do agree. I I want to see more because it yeah. definitely looks weird. Like it it yeah. looks well, like one of those games where like yeah, this is gonna be like a weird acid experience like game mm-hmm. uh, right after that we get replaced coming in 2022 that's made by sad cat who that looked really cool that was Remember that, that, one that was that 2d pixel arty kind of style he was walking oh, around that's in right. kind yes, of trench yes. coat he looked yes. really dope he and has like that nice like cool uh neon the art style yeah, yeah oh that looks so cool i'm i can't wait for that that's next mm. year though but i'll yeah. can't yeah. Grounded Shroom and Doom, June thirtieth. I, I I don't play Grounded, so I played that yeah. one preview and that was it. Among Us. Now you said this it was June fifteenth, so I just believed you. Uh it's coming June fifteenth to Xbox I'll make Game sure. Pass. Um I cannot wait. I will definitely be playing this. Mm-hmm. Like, if not day one, very soon after. Uh, I know it's getting Ooh. 15 player lobbies. Among Us yes. June 15 update expected release time. Uh, so yeah, so it should be. Okay, so it should. Be. Yeah, uh, fif- Among Us expands to 15 player lobbies on June 15th. Maybe that's what that June 15th. Oh, maybe was? that's what it was, and then. Okay. Coming soon for Xbox, but the G- the 15th. Maybe player- okay. Okay, and okay. I just saw the Weird- June 15 at the beginning, so. No, no, I get it. Weird way to show something. Say yeah, 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 but whatever. 
Um, very excited for the game. Alex. Mm. Ewoding Chronicles. Oh, Ooh. dude, that looks awesome. 2022-2023. We get a slight kind of like prequel game in 2022. It's one of those games where I was looking at it and I was like, it looks cool. Okay, it's, it looks awesome. Okay, I'm excited for it now. Yeah, right. Like, it just kept the, the, the more the trailer built up, the better it got. And I was like, because at first I was like, oh, it's like uh, Octopath Traveler again. I don't mind it. It was, it looked that game looks fun. And then it started getting better and better. I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm super excited for this game. I and then not only announced one game, they announced uh, the two games. Yeah, the Heroes Rising, which was very much. We don't know too much about it, so I'm assuming it's just kind of a prequel to kind of get you excited for the next game, which is very similar to mm-hmm. what Bloodstain did when they did Curse of the Moon, and they did mm-hmm. um, Bloodstain Ritual of the Night, they did the Curse of the Moon to kind of be more of a Castlevania original feel, but this one, oh god, I can't wait, oh my god, it's basically a sweet kidding game, man, I can't wait, oh my god, um, and then right after that we got Ascent, July 29th, I, actually Alex eagle-eyed this one, he was like, oh, this is Ascent, and I was like, oh, I didn't remember, the um, only reason is because I, I was going through the Microsoft store and I saw a scent. I was like, what the f- is that? And I looked at it and I was like, oh, okay. It looks familiar. Yep. I got it. Another game where I'm like, I might play that with Alex because mm-hmm. it very much looks like don't play by yourself. Like, it's probably no, laying by yourself. No, 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 Right after that, we have Age of Empires, October 26th. I would love to play this. Don't know if That's my PC you. can run it, but I would love to play this. Oh, my God. <laughs> this looks so good. They should have um, been like, oh, available for mobile. <laughs> available pc and mobile <laughs> outer worlds 2 oh my god was that one of the funniest trailers i have probably ever seen like that was mm-hmm. hilarious i was losing it i was losing it i was i oh, so i love i love outer worlds sense of humor and, and that, that trailer is all you need to know about the game mm-hmm. if you have not played the first one game pass give it a try if you like it stick with it i loved it. i need to go back to it I love the game. It does take a while to start going, but once it's going, it's perfect. Yeah. Then we have Microsoft Flight Simulator, July 27th. This is getting a Top Gun collaboration that was announced at the end. So there'll be jets you can fly around in. Kind of cool. Yeah. Me and Alex don't really care, so don't have to. I'm going to, I definitely want to try it, but I'm not like the big on Me, uh, flight simulators. Yeah, Alex, you, you put it perfectly. We will do it probably once and then. Mm. like it will be a one-time thing we play we're like mm-hmm. cool it's Del- probably gonna be delete. like 200 gigs though so i'm gonna have to get ready for that it probably is 200 gig. i think it is 200 or 300 gigs on, on pc is 200 yeah so yeah yikes um yep and then right after that force horizon 5 november 9th man november 9th Ooh, it looks so good too mexico looks beautiful mm-hmm. the cacti the grass the coastal city that they were driving through i can't wait i can't wait Alex, do you have anything else for that one? I know that was kind of the bigger game that was shown. We got a, a lot from that. Dude, uh, yeah, I, like, we were talking about it before, and I was like, I thought um, Forza Motorsport, we, I thought we were getting that first. Mm-hmm. But I guess I didn't, I didn't, I, I was trying to think about it. I was like, yeah, no, we haven't had a Horizon game since 2018. Horizon 4 was 2018. Damn. Which is nuts. That's nuts, but yeah, you're, yeah that sounds about right. And when you put it that yep. way, yeah. yeah October 2nd, 2018. Yeah, so yeah, they, they've 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 kept it stretched for a while. Yeah, and they're working on Fable too. So I mean, they got two teams going mm-hmm. full ham on two things. That's crazy. Now this it, a little this got a little weird. So there was a a big screen of games coming to Game Pass. Alex shouted out Origami Two and Scorn. I'm pretty sure that mm. was the only two that were the big ones that like that weren't already in the conference. Let me see. Um, because I I wasn't picking up on anything new. Alex got the eagle eyes. I wasn't able. To. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, well, Alex, I will wrap up. Red, uh, Red Fall from Arcane. It's coming summer of next year, twenty twenty two summer. Getting a new Arcane game. Looks cool. Again, one of those CG games. So, got to wait for a gameplay trailer for me to really get excited about something. But mm-hmm. the concept looks fun. I like that there's vampires that were running around i mean i know we just talked about back for blood but this looks like left for dead but with vampires so <laughs> that's probably what it is left for dead with vampires yeah. i'm i am trepidatious to say i'm very excited but i am excited to see more how about that yeah no for sure um oh the list is pretty much just pretty much all we know uh it's just like you accuse like a dragon dungeons dark alliance but the ascent did- 
But you, but you did see Origami and Scorn, right? Yes, Origami was September 17. Scorn is fall 2021. Cool. Yep. Right. And then that Shredder's game, Hello Neighbor 2, all that's, okay, all these cool. are coming to Game Pass. Alex, that was hmm. 2021's Xbox E3 conference with Bethesda. What did you think? All, uh, through all of it, what did you think? What were some highs? What were some lows? I mean, I, I mean it's definitely enjoy. I was, it wasn't amazing. Mm. but it was it, it was good okay so like i did enjoy like i um i wasn't expecting um forza horizon because i didn't even think about it mm-hmm. so that was that was fun um the, some of the little games like psychonauts accent shredders i don't i don't really care for those mm-hmm. a really big thing i was worried about is starfield that and i like how they hinted at, they put the date on there was yep. november 11 november 2022, 2022 which that's what assuming that's what the date is for it's, of course assuming but probably yeah uh and then halo of course mm-hmm. waiting on that yep i'm i'm about the same with alex you guys saw how much stuff i love from it 12 minutes i mean come on you chronicles jesus like so many games that i'm gonna love um mm-hmm. halo is a given right halo and i mean you put halo on something i'm i'm coming for it now mm-hmm. i agree it was not a ama- like i was not blown away i'm not like oh whoa like it was a fantastic game but i did love it i i think it was a like higher tier conference especially when compared to a few others so if in a vacuum, I think it's okay. Like, really, it's actually really good, especially when you compare it to other things. It's like, oh yeah, no, this was probably like the best one. Yeah. But I had a great time. I loved everything about it. I Xbox really does nail, even though n- not every year I love the conference. They really do nail the one game for everybody. No, for sure. Like really, like the only thing you can say they didn't bring was a horror game. And that's really it. They have like third person. They have a family friendly title. They've got a first person. They've got, I mean, they, I mean, it's one of those things where they've got it to a point where they have one game just about for everybody. And then again, almost all of these games we just said were on Game Pass. Almost everything. So 27 out of the 30, I believe, was on Game Pass. That's nuts. Like, how is that, how is that possible? But it's true. All of these games straight to Game Pass. I am. I mean, it just it makes Game Pass keep it keeps making it stupid good. Like I keep telling the achievers every week, Alex, and you know you know this. Game Pass it's, still stupid good. It's, it's still stupid. crazy to me. It's like people for people who don't have Game Pass, why not? Yeah, yeah, it really like is crazy. like like you should you should drop the ten bucks a month and and just and it it, like it even, really does even, save you even, money. Yeah, like even the fifteen one, the ultimate one. Yeah. Just do if, if you want Xbox Live and game, just do the fifteen dollars a month. That I mean, honestly, that's how I do it. I do mm. the the fifteen dollars a month one. Yeah, and I mean, I don't I don't have Netflix, so I just do that one as a. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean the the ones that point out to me, I think. Um, um. Oh, the one thing we didn't mention, I guess I missed it. I probably was watching too hard Starfield, which oh, yeah. opened the show. Yeah. And we got essentially nothing. Do you think? Oh yeah, it's just it's just to uh, I think it's just to open you know open up what's. It looks like we're just gonna go explore the stars type of thing. Yeah, I mean it didn't look. It didn't tell us what it was. It didn't so. really look look unique or anything, and I'm not dogging on it. Of course, I I'm excited mm. for the game, but when you show I me don't... a CG trailer, I can't decipher if I'm going to enjoy the game or not. I sure to be I fair, am. Though, it's not coming out to holiday of next year, so we'll probably see more next next E three. That's true. We'll probably get we'll a probably full will, deep dive and everything next E three. We'll, we'll probably get gameplay next E three, but we probably won't even see it till then. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Halo Infinite is honestly one I'm more excited about. Yeah, but again, it's I don't know. It was a great. It was a great conference. I enjoyed my time with 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 X, Xbox today. Uh, it. Mm-hmm. I do agree, though, it was not blow my brains out, like, oh my god, like, that was amazing, kind of thing. But it was cool. Yeah. It was very cool. Jeevers, what did you think of the Xbox E3 conference? Or Bethesda? What did you think of this whole show? What was that one thing that missed that you were like, ah, oh, why wasn't this there? Let us know. Comments below. Tweet at us. Of course, if you have Patreon, you can 
Support us literally pennies a day, a dollar every month. You can DM, DM us question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea to the show. And we'll read it every week. Remember, this is a special week. E3 is ends in like two days. But you can hang out with us that whole time. This is all off schedule. But normally we, of course, come to you every single Friday on a YouTube or podcast service of your choice. We love you. Remember. Go with you. Go with you. And, uh, you know, Xbox was like, it was good, though. It was really good. Yeah, it's good. I'm still smiling. Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> sucks. <laughs>